Something that's always crossed my mind was how the Volturi structured their ranking. It's quite clear that everyone has their own place in terms of importance and power. Basically, they all have a job to do. The Coven is like a collection of the most gifted, most powerful, most talented vampires from all over the world. It's what makes the Volturi so dominant. Something else that's quite clear is that there is no better an individual than Arrow at choosing these vampires. He even went as far as fabricating laws that were violated by certain covens in order to recruit that coven's specially gifted vampire. Then I look at the three Volturi leaders as a whole and I wonder why they're in the position they are and that's just down to their age and their power. Obviously, the leader of a coven is normally the strongest and Arrow himself over 3,000 years old, incredibly quick, incredibly strong, and can read every single thought that an individual has ever had just by a mere touch, well, he warrants his place. He's tactical, he's intelligent, he's scheming, he's always a step ahead. This vampire is frightening. Then we have Marcus, another unbelievably powerful vampire with a gift for seeing the emotional ties between people, crucial to Arrow because it allows him to target the heart of a vampire, making them vulnerable if their loved ones or just anyone they care about is within open range of the Volturi. Marcus, however, is pretty disillusioned with life in the Volturi since the death of his wife and longs for death himself. He's kept in check by Chelsea, who has the power to make him feel content and loyal to the Volturi. So it leaves the question of Caius. What's his gift? What's his power? Why is he so important to the Volturi? And how is he one of the three leaders? I was shocked to learn that Caius has no special gift. Like I literally had to search the books and the wiki page and forums and I even asked a few fellow Twilight fans what his power was and it was all the same answer. He doesn't have one. He's just a basic vampire with his physical strength coming from age and even then, he's not a very strong fighter at all. Caius is clearly the weakest of the three leaders with little to offer so why is he even there in the first place? Surely there has to be something special about him. Well, I had a deep dive into the character of Caius in order to work out his true value to the Volturi and this is what I've come up with. So the first reason I came across was the fact that Caius was a founding member of the Volturi Coven. He obviously came together with Arrow and Marcus to start the Coven, however it's not certain on what vampire recruited the others and how their actual origins came to be. My guess is that it would be Caius who constructed the overall idea of forming a Coven with the other two. It could have been his idea to attempt to gain dominance over the vampire world convincing Arrow and Marcus to join him because he had no powers and Arrow and Marcus obviously did. Despite his rootless nature and appearing like he hates the world, Caius did form a very close and tight bond with Arrow and Marcus, their brotherhood being solidified over 3,000 years. So he's been a bit of a mainstay over the years, which gives him some sort of credit for his position but if I'm being honest, that can't be enough to warrant a leadership position in the Volturi. So, what does he actually offer? Well, I mentioned a moment ago that Caius was rootless and he truly was. He just seemed angry at everything, angry at the world and was only looking to strike at the Cullens at every chance that became available to him. He loved dishing out punishment and this is where his value does actually hold. He forced action when he felt it was needed. This was the comprehensive leadership that the Volturi needed, an unyielding stance on lawbreaking that seen him stay on top for so many centuries. He hated anything and everything and everyone that even crossed the line when it came to lawbreaking. He despised werewolves after suffering an attack by them in his younger days and went as far as punishing vampires who even remotely associated themselves with the creatures. He also had control over the gifted vampires and has such a strategic mind that he definitely played a huge role in why the Volturi were so intimidating and so dangerous. Although I can't confirm it, I don't think I'd be wrong when assuming 
that the Volturi don't give second chances slogan came from Caius himself. Caius, out of everyone, was well aware that he had no supernatural gift. In terms of raw power, he had the least to offer, and I think Caius knew that too. It made him angry. It made him want to prove his value when his two coffin brothers already knew theirs. This made Caius become more involved in the ongoings of the Volturi, the runnings of the coven. It was Caius who pushed things forward. I mentioned he enjoyed enforcing punishment. It's true, it was he who liked to use the pyre to burn the vampire's body like he did with Irene. Even after the Cullens proved their innocence, Caius wanted to fight anyway due to the Cullens consulting with their natural enemy, the werewolves. Even though they weren't werewolves but shapeshifters, something Caius was correctly confused over. His age alone also commanded respect from the Volturi Guard. He had centuries of wisdom and any decision he made was never questioned by the guard. As a member of the Front 3, he complimented the other two extremely well. He offered something that Arrow did not. He offered something that Marcus did not. He made the most out of every strength he had and proved to be invaluable to the Volturi. I think he has a closer relationship to Arrow than Marcus and I wouldn't be surprised if he was also behind the murder of Didime in order to keep the spine of the Volturi intact. I think Jamie Campbell Bauer did a fantastic job playing the role of Caius. He really brought out such an emotional response within me, even with such limited screen time. He made Caius so believable, as if the vampire truly felt like he was above everyone else. He highlighted Caius' anger so well that it made me ask, what is it about this character that has him so angry at the world, yet so disciplined? I could see the insecurities within Caius on screen that were shielded so well with such an intimidating presence. Caius made the Volturi his life. It gave him such a strong sense of purpose, especially after existing for over 3,000 years. He, more so than Arrow, would not have the Coven appear vulnerable under any circumstances. He would not have been keen on any member of the Volturi leaving that could have made it weaker. He was okay, however, with Carlisle leaving the coven, as was Arrow, which is a surprising turn of events. Let's take a look at why Carlisle left the Volturi, why he was allowed to leave the Volturi, and just what made Carlisle different to all the others. Carlisle had quite the journey to get to where he is, and the Volturi played a huge part in it. Click the video here on the card to continue our story on Carlisle's departure from the Volturi.